Introducing Next Gen 50, the new home school up. Well, where does this come from? Covering everything the school game has to offer in both the North and Southern Hemispheres. Oh, the great tackle! Oh. It's not good enough! One, two, skip a few and with the wheels! Highlighting tomorrow's stars, Next Gen 50 will be bringing you live games and regular updates of all the news and in-depth views on the global game. What a game! Where did he come from? And how did that happen? All your school rugby, all in one place. This is Next Gen 50. Hello and welcome to Walsall Rugby Club, where we have the Association of Colleges Sport Premier League Playoff Final, Newman College against Bishop Burton College. It is bright, it is sunny, there's not too much wind. It is a glorious day for finals rugby here in the West Midlands. And we can't wait to get cracking. Two fantastic teams lining up, of course, in this final. They've had a great run to get here and plenty of excitement ready to come. Newman College, as you may be able to see, just on the right-hand side of your screens, have already appeared out on the field wearing black. Bishop Burton College, we're expecting to be in green and white, and they'll be out just very shortly. But since we have Newman College out on the field, let's go through their team sheet. And what a very exciting team sheet it is. A couple of late changes, but we should all be in good shape. And at fullback, they've got Toby Gale, while on the wings it's Cam Reed and Louis Stillman. In the centres, Alistair Darling, no, not the ex-Chancellor, the inside centre. And outside him is Monty Wilson. In the halfbacks, Jake Rutherford and Ed Hartley. Up front, Joe Elias wearing one, Jamie Hodson at hooker and Connor Van Leel wearing three. In the second rows, Matthias Woolard and Alfie Ambrose. And in the back row, Isaac Buck, Finley Toghill and Jasper Folks. On the bench, Charlie Bennett, Daniel Jarman, Luke Day, Kana Barmin, Finn Turner McQueen, Oliver Simpson, and Will Varley. And just to let you know, Kana Barmin will be wearing the scrum half shirts when he comes on at half time, but he will definitely be appearing at half time. Their coach is Wesley Horscroft. Bishop Burton College, meanwhile, without two of their England stars, sadly, in the shape of Ty Raymond and Tom Burrow, but they have a very strong lineup nonetheless. In the front row, Luca Forster, Luca Foster, rather, and in Hooker, Corey McCormack, the Scotland under-18 player. Tight head, Oliver Johnson in the second row. Callum Russell and Ben Lazenby. And in the back row, Ashton Neal, Waverley Rigglesworth and the exciting Henry Deboulet at number eight. 
in the backs, Matt Ferguson at scrum half, Ben Hall at fly half, and in the centres, Charlie Metcalf and Oliver Vining. And in the back three, Harry Dawkins, Reese Davis, and Finley Hobson on the bench. For Bishop Burton College, Jack Gallagher, Matt Castleton, Tigre Kultas, Curtis Taylor, Daniel McDougall, Archie Haddon, and Frankie Fawcett. And the head of ACE Rugby is Evan Woodworth. Director of Rugby, actually, at Bishop Burton College, overseeing all rugby within the programme. There's, of course, the very exciting Mike Umanga. A healthy travelling support for Bishop Burton College. Clapping them onto the field in those green and white hoops and the blue shorts. Looks as though they'll be starting off on the left-hand side of our screens. And on the right will be Newman College in those black shirts with a bit of red trim on them. Newman College tightly associated nowadays with the Ealing Trailfinders. A good number of their players hoping to go on to represent Brunel University. Hopefully as time passes, Ealing Trailfinders as well. Bishop Burton College tightly linked to the Yorkshire Academy. And while Yorkshire may have no pro team in the Premiership beyond the Academy level, Already a great number of their players being contracted across to Sale Sharks and Newcastle Falcons. Wonderful work the Yorkshire Academy has been doing. A number of players in the starting lineup today that participated in that under 18 Premiership Academy season. So we're just moments away from kickoff here. Referee Lee French in the middle. The only prior and Adrian Holmes running touch. What remains is for kickoff to take place. And it's hoisted high into the air by Toby Gale. And it's collected quite brilliantly by Finley Toghill for Newman College. He goes straight onto the attack here in this AOC Sport final. Spilled there though. And we'll have our first scrum of the game. A strong start from the kickoff, claiming their own kick. But an early chance for Bishop Burton College and that powerful front row of theirs. To show us what they're made of. Corey McCormack, as we mentioned, a hooker for them. Scotland under 18. Luca Foster at Loosehead. I'm told to remind everyone is not a Yorkshireman, but is from Lincoln. Or Lincolnshire, rather. The French just wants a bit of balance in that front row. Here we go. Ask him. Ask him. Maintain the brave foot, boys, please, boys. Crouch! Let's go, then. Let's go. Bang! Ferguson. Set! So waits the put in. <laughs> Won't get that opportunity, though. Newman College goes straight to ground, and it's a penalty to Bishop Burton College. Three black. Having let that kickoff go loose, they've got an opportunity here to gain a bit of ground and possession. Line up just shy of the halfway line. A chance for the Yorkshire side to launch something. McCormack to launch it in. Goes to the middle and it's straight off the top. And immediately they look to launch to Boulay. Involved in the England setup as an under 17. But that pass from Dubule just going a little awry. And having had a Bishop Burton line out on the halfway line on this side, it's over to the far side for a Newman College line out. Oh! 
brought down by Willard. And the mall is flying forward, but the mall is flying forward because Bishop Burton College hadn't engaged, and that gives them the free kick. Bishop Burton called for the scrum, having had that earlier success at the set piece, winning the penalty from it. They fancy their chances here on the halfway line to either win another or make some good field position. We see here on the replay, it was clever, clever play. First line out of the game from Bishop Burton College and they just chose not to engage, which means that as soon as that ball is passed back towards the tail of them all, all the players in front of it become offside and it's a free kick for accidental offside. Another big scrum from Bishop Burton. This time, they don't get the penalty and they hoof the ball forward and it's collected by Newman College who've offloaded and made a little bit of ground. Folks having to fight really hard through contact there. 13 green. Playing the man in the air. They come all the way back for a penalty. 13 green, tackle the man in the air. So with that penalty, Newman College pump it up. Bishop Burton territory is a hotly contested line out, but it's claimed by Woolard, who has a little rumble himself. It's a boule with a thumping tackle. The ball passed along. Out the tackle. But passed forward. Look at this tackle from De Boule. Sizes up Ashton Neal. Sorry, sizes up Isaac Buck, rather. And catches him. So hard, the ball pops out. Brilliant intervention from the Bishop Burton College. Number eight. Buck's done well to wear that one as well as he has. As if nothing ever happened. What can Bishop Burton do with this scrum? Penalty off the first. Strong scrum off the second. We'll see where it gets to. Bishop Burton trying to string some possession together here. Neither side's had much fluidity yet. Use it, and the Yorkshire side do. Huge carry there. Oliver Johnson gets his team on the front foot and Deboule continues that. Another big carry from the number eight. Now they're getting through the gears. Ben Lazenby this time up to halfway. But it's been turned over. Jasper Folks, I think, the man responsible for the turnover. And Newman College have the ball. Ping that one forward. Tidied up in the backfield by Finley Hobson. Forceful tackle from Waverley Rigglesworth. Finley Toghill, rather, I do apologise. Yeah. 
physical bruising encounter so far. Can someone find a bit of magic to unpick these defences? Intercepted by Bishop Burton. But offside, offside. Reese Davis thought he was away. 14. 14 green, offside. A decision to make here with this penalty for Newman College and Toby Gale. The decision is to go to the corner. See there, as the big tackle came in, I think it was actually the tackler rather than Davis that was offside. Such a close opportunity that for Bishop Burton College, but from the penalty, it's now a huge opportunity for Newman College. Ball goes over the tail of the line out, but Isaac Buck doesn't mind about that. He goes flying over the line. Isaac Buck. Well, the line out went long. Or at least we think it did. Perhaps it was deliberate. Buck was free at the back end and just threw himself across the try line. And Isaac Buck has put his team into the lead here in this AOC Sport Premier League playoff final. Toby Gale, the man standing over the conversion. And he strikes it nicely. And that Gale conversion puts Newman College 7-0 up here against Bishop Burton College. And Buck was unmarked at the tail of the line-out. Line-out overthrown, but it didn't matter. One jot for Newman College. It left Isaac Buck with a clear run at the try line. And a thumping carry took him over. Kick off claimed well by Newman College. And the touchline to contend with as well there. It's a charge down. Sits into the hands of Harry Dawkins, but I think the referee is going to pull us back. He does indeed. It was a brilliant charge down from Luca Foster. But as he looked to collect it, just brushed his fingertips and allowed Harry Dawkins to run onto it. But that meant it was a knock on. For the second time, Bishop Burton College come very, very close. But an opportunity here to put the leading side, Newman College, under pressure from this scrum five hey. metres out. Five. Set. Rutherford trying to tidy things up at the base of that scrum. Just about manages, but Newman College have got some work to do to get out of there. But they do so brilliantly through, I think it was Monty Wilson. No right to make that sort of yardage in contact. In fact, it was Alistair Darling. Hands out, seven green. Came bursting through from behind his own try line, and now his team have a penalty. And the escape will momentarily be complete. Seven green, you're part of the tackle, you haven't released. Escape, they do. I'll have the line out just outside their own 22. Don't be surprised if they try and have a look to put boot to ball again. 
two in the backfield for Bishop Burton. Instead, it's a little snipe from Go Rutherford. Now, Woolard. Hold there, hold there. Now, Newman College play in its buck. But it's been ripped clear from him, and Duboule is on the charge. Penalty advantage to Bishop Burton. Big tackle from Newman College. Oh, that's serious bit of defensive work. McCormack tries to get around the outside. He's well met as well. Still playing with advantage. Oh, Bishop Burton. Ashton Neal carries this time. Now they try to release the backs. Into the hands of Daboule. Daboule shifts it out to Reese Davis, but it's gone forward and will come back for the penalty. Seven black. You've gone off your feet and affected the ball. Finley Toghill. One suspects deliberately going off his feet in an attempt to stymie that tide from Bishop Burton. From the penalty, Bishop Burton have pumped this one into the corner. Newman College from a similar position. Put themselves across the try line through Buck. Can Bishop Burton respond? They go to the tail, they're going to set up the mall. Working hard to get it to the back. Now they have it at the back. McCormack keen to get his mitts on it. But it's been spilled forward before it could ever get to him. Newman College survive again. And as we approach the quarter of an hour mark, they've come under pressure, but they have not cracked. You can see Bishop Burton were desperate to work their way back with that ball as they drove towards the try line. And it was lost forward. Newman College have a scrum. A chance to get the ball off the pitch. Crouch! You're hiding your shoulder. Square. You are not square. Free kick to Newman College. One green. Bishop Burton not square, not square. at that scrum. Just a free kick. So the line out is Bishop Burton's. We get clean possession off it to Boulay again. The man that they tried to build the platform off in the midfield. Arriving at pace now is Harry Dawkins. And the Bishop Burton faithful alongside me. I've just brought a very, very large drum right in front of the commentary position. So things could be about to get loud. Perhaps that noisy support may just help edge their side across the line. Newman College leading 7-0. And once again, Matthias Woolard is the target in their line out. Now Buck, the try scorer with another big carry. He's been impressive in his carrying work so far. Newman going the direct route through folks. And earning the penalty. 
Side entry from Bishop Burton. Brilliant touch finder from Toby Gale. Takes Newman College into the 22 for the first time since they scored that try. Again, it was a huge carry from Jasper Folks off the back of that buck carry. The referee saying there that Corey McCormack had come in from the side to try and affect that ruck. Now, from the last time Newman College had an attacking line out, they scored a try. A bit further out this time, but what might we see? A rather timid effort from the drum to begin with. I suspect it may pick up. The afternoon goes on. Hodson. Prepares to launch the ball into the line out. They go deep to Finley Toghill, but not straight. Which the outside shoulder, boys. What would you like, Green? Not straight. What would you like? Scrum or line again? Scrum call. That's the middle. Use the white as your mark. They went ambitious and to the tail. All just going astray. A word on AOC Sport, by the way. Membership organisation for colleges leading the development of sport and physical activity in 16 plus education. Over 211 members, or in fact, exactly 211 members. The trusted voice for college sport and physical activity. This. One of the flagship events for Rugby Union in the AOC calendar. AOC Sport Premier League playoff final. It's Newman College. It's Bishop Burton College. Newman College playing in black from right to left who are leading seven points to nil. They're an Isaac Buck try. And a Toby Gale conversion. Bishop Burton College in the green and white. Looking to escape their own 22 from this scrum. It's a big scrum though from Newman College and Bishop Burton do well to get the ball out of it. Actually Ben Hall, the fly half, has to take that one up himself. Interestingly is uh, inside centre Charlie Metcalf who played throughout the season for the Yorkshire Academy. Actually had a start at 10 for the Yorkshire Academy at one point the under 18 academy league season speak of the man here goes Metcalf now trying desperately hard to get out their own 22 but Newman College defense is robust as it has been all game so as I say that, they give away a penalty. Lee French, the match referee, just Eight, black, off his feet. laying down the law. Wants everything coming to him to come through the captains. Quite right too. Bishop Burton. But again. Up early, boys. Black up early. Well, it wasn't straight, but prior to that, Newman College had infringed by going up too early. Bishop Burton go quickly from it. Once again, they feed. 
Number eight, Henry Dabule, who's got through a mountain of work already in the game, is only 22 minutes old. And Cormac now Over. with the big carry. Foster. At the back they go to Metcalf. Metcalf flings it wide to Davis, who does well to stay in, does he? No, just trailing foot. Just caught the whitewash. Bishop Burton support beneath me. They need to wait again for their side to crack through. Inches away there. Now I'm not sure about the socks on Jamie Hodson here. Set of white sports socks. We can do better than that, Jamie. We can do better than that. Bursting through. Goes Jake Rutherford. Newman College scrum half. Oh, this is sensational work. Hauled down by his opposite number, Matt Ferguson. But a penalty to Newman College, but that was all about Jake Rutherford. Electric break from the scrum half. From 122 to the other. And brought down in the end by a high tackle from Ferguson. Yeah, time off. Yeah, time is off. But how about that from Jake Rutherford? Absolutely. Stunning play from the Newman College scrum half. He just saw half a gap and went on the big diagonal run. Yeah. Evaded Finley Hobson, the fullback. And had to be hauled down by a shirt collar by Matt Ferguson. He's probably thinking that a penalty is not too bad a result in the circumstances. Time is off here. Well, we just make sure that Matt Ferguson is okay. A chance to mention Limitless, our kit suppliers here at Next Gen 15, who you can see it's next to the clock on our Nine screens green, here today. Just tackle, penalty only. Keeping us warm, dry, and indeed today shielded from the sun Simon. in quite magnificent style there. Are. Superb partners. Are limitless, the kit manufacturing arm of School Blazer. As Jasper Folks once again carries big for Newman College, so too Joe Elias. And in fact, across the line, they may well have charged. Well, it looked for all the world like another phase was being set up, but such was the power that Newman College sent through. But they just powered themselves across the try line. First, that carry from Elias. And I think it might well be his front row partner, Connor Van Leeuw, that batters his way across the try line there. See it again here. It's great work from Elias. And then it is Connor Van Leeuw. Carries hard and carries true. And his fullback Toby Gale has banged over the conversion as well. Newman College lead 14 points to nil. What a carry that is. Through two of the biggest men on the Bishop Burton College team. But no match for the power that Connor Van Leeuw brought to that occasion doubles their advantage up to 14 nil now 10 minutes to go until the halftime break and Newman College are in a very good place right now and 
Oh, another big carry. Finley Toghill this time, the open side. The Newman College pack are enjoying themselves out there. Alfie Ambrose going well. Now through they go almost once more with Van Leeuw. Spilled forward, but this Newman College pack have got their tails up. Poor old Connor Van Leeuw, he's not going to enjoy that one later on. He'll have to look back at his try and enjoy that rather. Came absolutely surging through and uh, forgot to bring the ball with him. Another little break for the injuries. I suspect a few tired bodies as Alfie Ambrose swaps off. Jogging off reasonably comfortably. On this place is Charlie Bennett wearing 23. We're here at Walsall RFC. We've actually finished second in Midlands 2 West in the North Division. Four points behind the uh, promoted side Leak. Actually won the same number of games, but bonus points left them behind. But good news for Walsall is they'll get a playoff for promotion against the Midlands 2 West South second place team, Evesham. Winner of that one. We'll join Leak in Midlands 1. For these two sides on the field, it's about more than that. It's about the AOC Sport Premier League playoff final and a bit of silverware with which to end their seasons. Six black, he's come through and played the night. And a useful penalty here for Bishop Burton College. Metcalf gets that one up to the 22. What can Bishop Burton do from this one? You see Buck just going off his seat feet slightly as he looked to drive through. Ball is pinched at the line out by Newman College and Buck. Oh, another really aggressive carry. Really punchy carrying from the Newman College pack. 13, you're offside. 13 black. Now Hartley thumps it long and a chance here for Hobson to counter, but he's driven backwards in the tackle. What a tackle that was from Darling. Lost no black, lost no black. Went backwards. Loose pass is tidied up by Dabule. Gets the offload away to Ben Hall. Bit of tidying up. Still to be done though for Bishop Burton College. You now find a bit of space on the outside and Johnson gets on the carry. Back to the short side they go and Dabule has a little bit of space. Can he find an offload? Not quite, goes to deck. But they're up to the 22 now. Our Bishop Burton. Foster. That's the ball, but it may have been turned over by Newman College. No, it hasn't quite. Penalty. Okay, two, black. You good? No, good turnover. Then you were holding on. In fact, it was a turnover one way and then the other. Good turnover, says the referee, but then holding on in response. Metcalf's kick doesn't quite find touch, so Gale launches the counter. 
And they look to find a bit of grass and running onto it is Hobson. Hobson stabs a kick through. Does it stay in field? It does just and then bounces out. College once again need to escape from inside their own territory, but they've done a really good job of that so far in the opening half an hour. Just a couple of minutes to go until half time. Ball is loose, but tidied up by Luke Day, who's come on as well. Three, though, says that was spilled forward. By Newman College. Receiver in the air, just a knock on. Scrum down. And so there's a couple of changes for Newman College on in the front row. I think we've got Charlie Bennett, and in the second row we've got Luke Day. Twenty-three and seventeen, respectively. Ferguson, Ferguson out to the back line. Hurrying hard as Oliver Vinen. Ball gives it back inside. Now Rigglesworth trying to wriggle his way free. Darting round the fringe goes Ferguson. Penalty to Bishop Burton. And they've spent a lot of time in this part of the field, but have no points yet. High tackle. They're going to go and try and finish this half in a try scoring fashion. Metcalf pumps it into the corner. They'll have a line out about six metres out. What can the Yorkshire side do here? If ever there was a time to narrow the gap, this would be one of the better ones. Yeah, just behind the line from in there. You're on the try line. Good. Thank you. Russell, the target, gathers it low. Now the mall comes on. They've been across the line once, but spilled it forward. Now McCormack has it, and McCormack goes driving towards the line, and McCormack gets across the line. The Scotland hooker with a crucial score for his side. This time they got them all set up right. They got it to McCormack early and McCormack actually broke really early, realizing that there wasn't a huge amount of protection for Newman College on that blind side. Surged across the line. They worked it to that tail really fast. And then look at this from McCormack. He spots that it's just a back. Trying to mark a man on the outside as well. And thinks I can have a go at that. My word, couldn't he? Yeah, Metcalf's conversion is good as well. And at half time, the whistle goes there. Bishop Burton College have come back into it and halved the deficit. We'll go in at the break in this AOC Sport Premier League playoff final, Newman College. 14, Bishop Burton College, 7. Look for 
few of the scores from that first half. Newman College took the lead through Buck at the tail of that line-out. Wasn't the line-out they were aiming for, but they made a great success of it. Buck in particular powering over, and it was yet more forward power that doubled the advantage for Newman College. Connor Van Leeuw bursting across the line, and that forward pack of Newman Colleges has been irrepressible at times in the carry. A few more penalties than they would have liked have allowed Bishop Burton College to get some field position. But that power in an attacking sense has been oh so good. But from one of those penalties, Bishop Burton got the field position to finish the half off, setting up them all. And Corey McCormack thrusting himself across the line. They'd been across the line already, but they'd dropped it forward. But this time, no mistake, as they got it into McCormack's hands nice and quickly. And the young hooker made no error with the finish. And with a couple of conversions for Toby Gale from Newman College and the conversion from Charlie Metcalf for Bishop Burton College. That sent us in at half time with Newman College leading Bishop Burton College 14 points to 7. And for your opportunity to win tickets to the London Sevens, sign up to the Touch Union over the spring term if you're a college. you with a chance to win these tickets to the London Sevens. The Twickenham Stadium, the 20th or the 21st of May. Just sign up, you'll receive your free Touch Union kit pack. Run an intra or inter Touch Union festival and post a picture of the event bearing on Twitter with at Ingrug Colleges, that's Ingrug Colleges, which is short form for England Rugby Colleges, at AAC Sports, hashtag College Touch Rugby, London Sevens Legacy. Could be a good one, that one. Half-time here then, and a brief mention of uh, the AOC Sport charity partner, which is Mind, who do an awful lot for young people's mental health. So do go and check out the Mind charity. Do some great things all across the country, and particularly within universities and schools and colleges. Field here at Walsall RFC, though. We are just about ready to get back underway. It's going to be Bishop Burton kicking off in their green and white hoops on the right hand side. Newman College in the black receiving on the left. And there's been a few changes for either side that I'll try and update you on as we work through the half. Advantage. Sensational claim Penalty in the advantage. air from Jasper Folks for Newman College. And once again, that forward carrying. Jamie Hodson this time, a real standout of the Newman College play so far. Okay, 15, you've gone off your feet, we're coming back here. Contact in the air, 
So we can see that Daniel McDougal has come on for Bishop Burton College wearing 20. A couple more that we'll update you on. As things move on. Penalty to Newman College. Toby Gale still on at 15. All the boys in black. Brilliant penalty. Absolutely brilliant clearance. Bishop Burton almost thought they'd managed to keep it in. But Toby Gale has launched his side from 122 to the other as we look at that brilliant take from the kickoff from Jasper Folks. Early opportunity for Newman College then, but the line out goes long. Claimed by Bishop Burton. And Curtis Taylor wearing 19, who's come on and who claimed that line out. And it's another big carry from another substitute, Matt Castleton now injecting some power and pace for the Yorkshire side. Metcalf now stabs the kick forward, claimed by Gale. And Gale makes good ground there, really accelerated onto that one. Tigre Kultas has also come on for Bishop Burton. And you can see there wearing 28, Finn Turner McQueen for Newman College. Looks as though he's stepped in at fly half. New advantage. And on as well, wearing nine, Kane Barman making that break for Newman College. Penalty here, 22 and From offside. that break, earning the penalty. Thank you, Fawcett offside for Bishop Burton. Just two penalties there. The second one was the offside. The yeah, first three. one was for a high tackle. Just keen yeah. okay. for the number of penalties. Too many high tackles. We need to see it to come down the hips. Okay, so that it's obvious to us that that tackle is below the arm yeah. hips. No Speak to your team for me. Yeah. Thank you. French just wanting a bit more order. Sorry, 22, offside. Okay, well, stabs that into the corner and once again, an opportunity here for Newman College as we check out the break again from Kane Barman for Newman College. Spotting that the defence had come up and surging through the gap behind. Line out is poached though by Bishop Burton, but then seizing upon the loose ball. Luke Day for Newman College. Well, they know how to fix a broken line out. To these boys in black. Their first try of the game coming from an overthrown line out, and this second one coming from a poached line out. And then seizing upon the loose ball, reacting so quickly to it was Luke Day. It was an unfortunate bounce for the Yorkshire side, but the perfect bounce for Luke Day and for Newman College. And they have responded in perfect time. That late first half try from Bishop Burton, just a couple of minutes into this second half, and they've strung out that advantage again. Conversion won't go. But I suspect Luke Day won't mind too much. Smart bit of work, good skills from the replacement for Newman College. 21. Up to 19-7, they take the lead. So Archie Haddon there, wearing 21. We'll be taking this kickoff. And Haddon thumps this one long, bounces into touch. That'll put Newman College under a little bit of pressure. Yeah. 
Newman claim this one safely. Willard brings it down and they set up more. Spearing round they go through Hodson up to the 22. Now Buck, typically robust carrying from the back rower. They're playing with penalty advantage, so they take a bit of a risk and it works and they get a second kick in now. Advantage, advantage called over as the ball sits up into the arms of Hobson, but only as far as the replacement, Turner McQueen. And up to the opposition now, opposition 22, rather, on Newman College. Might they get a fourth? Well, not. If Harry Dawkins has anything to say about it, turning that ball over like a back rower. I'm clear by Haddon. Only as far as Gale, who sends that one up. It's going to come down like a meteorite. Almost knocks over Ferguson as he gathers it. Run now. Ben Hall, I think it's moved to fullback for Bishop Burton. Down the game at outside half. Huge tackle from Newman College. Hold there, hold there. Use it. They set up here for the box kick. That's the dummy and it's the pass back. Kicks a decent one under real pressure. Come on, big guy. Haddon had the. Newman College defence flying up at him, but he managed to get the ball on the outside of the foot and get it beyond the 22. Strong effort from that position. Tense moments, these. You rather feel if Newman College can get another try. It's a long, long way back for Bishop Burton. Bowman has to take that one in himself. Take step, hold, hold. Hold there, hold there. It's forward pack. I can do some more heavy GT carrying. No, he's on the ball. It's really good work from Tigre Kultas though, and he's ripped it clean away. As the replacement front rower for Bishop Burton and Ferguson spotted some space in behind. It just stabs it through and takes his team almost up to the 22. Brilliant, brilliant work from Tigre Kultas. Such strength through the tackle. Let's go please, black balls here. Let's quicken it up. Line out goes awry again. Not straight, boys. That's not quite straight. Well, how about that for a turnaround from Bishop Burton? Under pressure from a Newman College line out. On their own 22, they now have a scrum of their own on the Newman College 22. It looks like I might have been wrong about that rejig in the Bishop Burton back line. It does look as though Ben Hall remains at fly half. Yeah, left of the mark, please, so we're not heads on heads. Might be Thank that Haddon, in fact, is at fullback, and uh, Finley Hobson has moved across to the left wing, I think. I'll keep an eye on that one. Whole new front row, though, of Jack Gallagher, Cut! Matt Castleton, and Tigre Cortez. Ferguson feeds that scrum. Boule has it at the back, and now they look to the back line. They go short to Metcalf. Metcalf powers across the 22. Strong carry from the inside centre.
castled in. Ball once again to Metcalf. He just straightens up and takes that one to ground. Castled in. Getting through some work here. And his side have got advantage. What can they do with it? Hall just stabs that one through. There's a bit of space in behind there. And Vining's on the chase, but the ball's going to beat everyone. So we'll come back for the penalty. And there's a decision for Bishop Burton to make here. Do they take the, po the points? It's a relatively simple kick. But I suspect they're going to go to the corner. Black, you're all offside. Back foot, please. I think they are going to take the points. Well, fair play. Uh, Another Wait, good bit of carrying from Castledon. He's got through some real work. We'll tell both sets. Ready? Ready? and then standing over this penalty it's to reduce the arrears to nine points. Reduce them, he does. Archie Haddon lands the penalty. And with a little under 25 minutes left to go, there is plenty of time to turn around this nine point deficit. Or Bishop Burton. Newman College, though, have been showing no signs of letting up. Toby Gale, he's lost his scrum cap, but he's not lost his kicking ability, that's for sure. As that restart lands perfectly in the arms of Matthias Woolard. The chance here for an immediate response. Turner McQueen feeding those outside him, now playing scrum half for just a second or two. Regular scrum half. Kind of Bain, Bayman slots back into the row. Back in their usual positions now. Tackle Jamie Hodson. Me. Carries and now Bayman just about skips through, just just hung on to by the Bishop Burton defence, but flying forward now in Newman College and number eight, Folks. Knocked forward, was it? Newman College coming within inches. Sorry, I didn't hear what you said then. Did you have, some, did you have anything? Okay. Okay, Human College coming oh so close. It'll be a scrum. Coach, can you go back to the sideline for us? To Bishop Coach, Burton. To the sideline for us, not behind the. To the sideline. It's a big carry from folks. They just couldn't quite keep it under control. The East Sussex side seed possession Coach! to the Yorkshire side. Fight! Too close your side, yeah? Nice long line, please. Okay. If you can hold your weight for us, because you're too far forward, okay? It's all change in the Newman College front row, isn't it? Buck's gone from blindside to hooker. 
Hodson's gone from hooker to tight head. And Bennett has come on at loose head. All change. Set. Hold it. Taboule carries off the tail, makes a bit of ground. Adam now with the clearance, but lands in the arms of Louis Stillman, who's not had much of a chance for a run yet today, but he shows what he's made of there. And now back into that familiar, powerful forward carrying, exemplified by Buck there. From Newman College, big counter from Bishop Burton, and the big counter ruck forces the spillage. And once again, they survive a powerful onslaught. Once everyone's back up and running, restart with the Bishop Burton scrum. But while we wait for everyone to get back and running, just a mention of our friends at Limitless, our kit suppliers here at Next Gen 15. I've gone from wearing a, an excellent cap provided from them to uh, shield the sun from me to a woolly hat now that has been expertly made by them as the temperatures drop a little here at Walsall Rugby Club. Fine purveyors of all kits for all your needs. Well, Limitless, do go and check them out at Limitless okay, Kit there, on social media. Yeah, yeah. Doing some fantastic work and supplying the likes of Berkhamstead and uh, Brighton College and many others in Haydenbury across the country. We're almost ready to get ourselves back up and running with this Bishop Burton scrum. Under 20 minutes left to go. It's a big scrum from Newman College, and it's hard work for Dabule at the base, but he makes good ground anyway and gets himself across the 22. Still going is, is Dabule, almost up to the 10 meter line. A sensational carry off a backward going scrum. It's a big carry as well. I think from Kultas that was. Marching forward they go. Johnson that time. Dancing around is Haddon and Haddon. Keeps possession for his team. Taylor. Met well but gets the ball away to Russell, yeah. but that's been lost. And now in the hands of advantage. Newman College, who pile through the ruck. Just knock on advantage. Ambrose. Advantage over. Now Toghill, Toghill releases Stillman and Stillman goes charging down the left-hand side and Louis Stillman Shows us what he's got for his team's fourth try of the game. Brilliant pace from Louis Stillman for Newman College. They turn the ball over and after a couple of punchy carries, they fed it out to Toghill through the hands of Turner McQueen. Into to Louis Stillman, who had all the pace and power necessary to finish there. Good hands from the forward pack. Turner McQueen 
into the gut of Stillman, who just powers over the first defender and then has enough pace and enough artistry to get away and then step inside and across the try line. His team's fourth try, the best try of the game so far. And Newman College stretch out to a 24-10 lead here against Bishop Burton College in this AOC Sport Premier League playoff final. And Newman College from East Sussex are in control at the moment. Can the Yorkshire side do anything in response? Haddon with a skidding kickoff, and once again it runs through into touch. Interestingly, Newman College rather letting that one run through. Obviously trusting their escape, or their exit, perhaps more accurately, from their own 22 with the line out. Oh, it's taken well by Willard, and it was a good offload from Willard to Luke Day, the try scorer as well. And now they have penalty advantage. So Bayman just goes, well, I'll have a dart and have a go and see what I can do. And he nearly manages to do something. But we'll come back for the penalty. As the game ticks on, the sun just breaks through again here at Walsall RFC. That penalty, though, not finding touch. So Haddon gives it to Dabule, and Dabule, well, we know what he's going to do. He's going to go running hard and straight, straight towards his opposite number, Jasper Folks. That's a big collision between the two of them, and it's been lost towards Newman College. And now Jasper Folks is on a run of his own. Fierce contest at this breakdown as well. These two sides giving it absolutely everything in the forward packs. Good handling from Newman College, but then just as I say that, it spilled loose. Ball is going this way and that. We're going to settle down and have another scrum. Bishop Burton ball. What a meeting of the two number eights that was. De Boulay and Folks. Yeah, great. Okay, knock on. Ball just spilled from the grasp there. Okay. Monty Wilson. We've got about 14. Bishop Burton support on this near side is doing everything they can to G up their side out there on the field. Could do with a couple of tries here. In fact, they could do with more than a couple of tries because if this game finishes all square. It's going to go the way of the team that scored first. Which in this case was Newman College. Free kick to Bishop Burton. De Boulay goes quickly with it. Has a rumble down the blind side, but Ferguson just can't quite hold on to the pass. in Newman College hands and they've got a penalty high tackle. Clock from on. it. High tackle from Bishop Burton. Yeah. Boys, go back 10 for us, please. Back 10 for us. Got a bit of a yeah, yeah. delay once again. Back 10 for us on that line for Here at the AOC Sport Thank Premier League playoff final. AOC Sport supporting 211 member colleges and sixth form centres around the country. Sport and college life. No, just see the captain, please. They advocate and lobby on behalf of colleges and can raise concerns specifically on a national level on their behalf. No, it's a penalty for high tackle. Yeah. And we will restart in a couple of moments with a penalty yeah. to Newman College after a high tackle. It's on that side, thank you. New tackle height laws, by the way, don't come in until the start of July, so we're still 
playing under the uh, old regs on on high tackles. I say old, old regs as if they've been around for ages. Old regs as in new interpretations of the original regs that we've been doing for a couple of seasons. New regs come in. First of July of this year across the community game. There's another decent carry from Dabule. Oh, just lost as the tackles are about to fly in and the support run it. Six calls, you bring one in. Happy with that? Let's go. Is it Buck to throw into this line up? Goes over the top, but it's a really good and brave pickup from Finn Turner McQueen. All stays with Newman College. Elias. With another big carry. Toghill takes that one in. Hold. Defense and attack meeting each other with real force here. And it's advantage to Newman College. Woolard. Hold here. Big collision there as Folks takes it in. Here, We're going to come side. back for the penalty for offside in the midfield. No here. Both offside. sides adopting this. Uh, on oh, a firm forward orientated style as this game wears offside. on. Big carries. And Toby Gales indicated he's going to go for the post as Newman College look to extend their lead beyond that two tr converted tries. Yardstick that it's at at the moment. Yeah. He's kicked well all day. That's Gail. This one. Even beyond the two converted scores. Gail. Just pushes that one to the right hand side though. So we stay at a 14 point difference. 10 minutes left to go here. In the AOC Sport Premier League playoff final. Could there be a bit of tension as we head into that final 10 minutes? Not if this man has anything to do with it. A big, big, firm carry from Jasper Folks, but that is brave, brave defense from Finley Hobson for Bishop Burton. Advantage. The fearsome look in the eyes there of Jasper Folks. As he lined up for that carry, but offside again. Oh, Bishop Burton going quickly as Turner McQueen. Handing the ball on to Will Varley, but it's been poached by Bishop Burton. Still trying to get over it. That Jasper Folks carry. Terrifying. Not sure I'd have had the bravery to make the tackle. Playing with plenty of bravery here, though. Newman College searching for a fifth try and a try that would be decisive, but it's been lost forward. Knock on first. Knock on first. Then went back. Bishop Burton still cling on to that slender hope of a comeback. As that ball just spilled forward. That was the covering tackle from Dabule. That just dislodged the ball, earning his side a lifeline. Now, I can see some shirts being swapped out there, so I do apologise if we get a couple of Newman College names wrong, because 
what I know, or I suspect, is that the two players wearing 17 and 5, Luke Day and Alfie Ambrose, are no longer the two players wearing 17 and 5. But we'll, we'll work it all out. We spoke before the game, not head on head. It's your time, Bri. Scrum Bishop Burton. Seven and a half minutes Coach. left to go. Five. Two and a half. Set. Two converted tries, rather. Two and a half tries. Two converted tries needed to level it. But they'll need more than that because a draw will see Newman College win. So what can Bishop Burton do here? It's a good start from Oliver Vining. And a big carry from Kultas. Metcalf decides that hard and straight is the way to go. Playing with penalty advantage now with the Yorkshireman. Dabule straightens. Force it, it was that time. Johnson makes ground this time. Advantage. And another penalty advantage to Newman College. And this time the penalty goes, and it's fastly taken by Ferguson. Ferguson sniping. Support is there with him as well. Bishop Burton edging us closer and closer to that grandstand finish. Vining takes it in again. Johnson carries again, and Johnson again evades the first tackle. Lost three. Almost at the 22 now of Bishop Burton. Gallagher. <laughs> and we've got a decision of some sort coming. Penalty here. Three, three, release it when you're lying on the floor. On, and a bit of ill-discipline creeping in from Bishop Burton, holding the player in on the floor. And Newman College have the penalty. And with just five minutes left to go. Might that just have ended the Bishop Burton momentum? Gale will want to make sure of this one, and does indeed. Dumps it into the stand behind our commentary position for a line out on the halfway line. Green three, playing the man off the ball. Green three, playing the man off the ball. Adrian, can we get a time check? One, five. Yeah, five, yeah. Yeah, when you're ready. Podson throws in Woolard as he has been all day long is the target and Hodson now has it at the back of that mall and going digging for it is Van Leeuw. Van Leeuw now has it as the mall keeps rumbling forward. Woolard now and Elias and now back to Folks the number eight you suspect Folks is going to fancy a little bit of a go here gets brought down but Keeps possession, crucially, in Newman College hands. Gale flings the big pass out wide. Will Varley is tackled, but does well to get back to his feet, but the tackle was completed, so it's a fast Tackle's penalty from made. Metcalf, and now Vining. Still just about enough time here for something to happen, but the ball is spilled and it's loose into the hands of what could possibly be Ambrose. Varley. Good 
turnover. Turned over first by Bishop Burton, and then brilliantly in return by Newman College. Chaos here. Woolard. Knocked on by Bishop Burton. Created the turnover, but spilled it as they tried. And Newman College scrum. And we're down to just over two minutes. And Newman College, this East Sussex side are now oh so close to this AOC Sport Premier League title. And they're doing a pretty professional, solid job of just taking their time over this scrum. It'll be 90 seconds left by the time this one comes out. Set! Eighty-nine seconds, in fact, folks. Round the fringe, Bayman just takes that one in, but it's been turned over by Bishop Burton. Now or never for the Yorkshire side. Dabule thinks it could be now up to the ten-meter line, but almost lost forward, but not quite. Advantage. Hall Still playing advantage. to Metcalf, stabs right it through. There is some space there, but oh, how about that? For a gather by Turner McQueen. Back for a penalty for Bishop Burton. Black. But with those three scores needed, Seven black. and only 30 seconds left to go. There is going to be not enough time for Bishop Burton here. A kick right into the corner. It was as Toghill just stayed in that contest for a little too long for the referee's liking. But he and his side aren't going to be worrying too much because this AOC Sport Premier League title is coming their way. Bishop Burton have given this absolutely everything though. Can they finish off with a try? A second try. They so richly deserve for a performance that's seen them close so many times. Line out's long, but tidied up by a combination of Johnson and Dabule, is it? No, lost forward. And it'll be a scrum Newman College. And this will be it, I think. Final play of the game. Barring some sort of timekeeping yeah. aberration. A minute on the clock, I think I've just heard the referee say. So you suspect by the time this scrum is done, one phase. And then clear your lines. Not enough space there. Will be enough Step to do off. it for Newman College. What a performance it's been you're okay there. from the Sussex you're, you're side. Okay, you're good there. Reach this final a week before Bishop Burton. Crouch! And playing like they've been Five. chomping at the bit to get it underway. Set. Four tries in this final performance. And now all they've got to do is complete a scrum, set up a phase. Instead, they decide to run it. Advantage. Playing with advantage, though, the ball's ended up on their side. Bayman offside of the scrum. thumps it forward. Green offside but they were offside at the scrum with Bishop Burton, so it's a penalty, and surely now, surely Newman College want this off the field, and they want to celebrate. 
No, offside at the scrum. Jamie Hodson certainly wants to. He's pointing straight off the field. He wants his mitts on that piece of silverware. And Toby Gale and teammates agree with him. As Newman College thump it off the field. They are your AOC Sport Premier League champions here at Walsall RFC. Tremendous performance from the East Sussex side. Right from the off, they were on it with a display of forward power that took the breath away at times. But they had artistry in there as well, that Louis Stillman try in the second half to stretch things out to 24-10, a great example of that. And a word on Bishop Burton as well. New Yorkshire College, who gave absolutely everything, brought plenty of power and panache of their own. Had the ball across the try line a couple of times, just couldn't quite get there. And right at the end of that second half, Corey McCormack scored a try to bring them within seven points. And you thought maybe we could be on for some blockbuster second half, but Newman College scored early on in the second half and then added that glorious fourth. And that was that, a 24 points to 10 victory here to claim the AOC Sport Premier League playoff final title. Wesley Horsecroft's charges. Very, very happy out there. His assistant, Neil Lester Card, done a great job with them as well. And you can bet your life that there are some people down at Ealing Trail Finders watching this one who are very, very happy with the way that things have gone. There'll be plenty in the Yorkshire Academy watching this Bishop Burton College side as well that think. There are some stars of the future out there. The likes of Daboule, McCormack, Metcalf, all with sensational performances, albeit in defeat. Oliver Johnson and Luca Foster in the front row really stepping up as well. But as we look through the highlights, we see just how powerful this Newman College pack was. Isaac Butt scoring the opener. And it was another one of his forward colleagues, Connor Van Leeuw, that helped double that one up. Stretching things to 14-0 with that powerful effort once Toby Gale had added the extras. Then that try I mentioned a moment ago was Corey McCormack. Powered over from close range. Metcalf conversion, leaving the half-time scores at 14 points to seven, and game really was on at that point. But come the start of the second half, it was another display of adaptability off a broken line out from Newman College, and Luke Day gathering that loose ball and charging over just three minutes into the second half. Conversion didn't go on that one, but it took them to a 19-7 lead and that just filled them with confidence. And then, well, the pick of the bunch followed 10 minutes or so later. Good handling from the forward pack between Folks and Toghill. And then replacement fly half, Finn Turner-McQueen with great handling out to Stillman who had the power, the pace and the step to finish off in style and give his team a 24-10 lead, or a 24-7 lead at that point. Bishop Burton College landing a penalty as they sought to build their way back into the game, but to no avail as Newman College finished it up, winning 24 points to 10 here at Walsall RFC. Newman College are your AOC Sport Premier League champions.
And so as the Newman College players make their way under the post for the obligatory photo underneath the post and then head off the field to collect the trophy in the clubhouse. We leave you here at the end of what has been a brilliant day at the end of a long and excellent AOC Sport Premier League campaign. And Newman College are the champions. They win the AOC Sport Premier League final. 24-10 here against Bishop Burton College and from all of us here at Next Gen 15 from Walsall RFC. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you very, very soon. In fact, we will see you this weekend for the England Touch National Championships at Nottingham Rugby Club. Do come and join us for those. In the meantime here from Walsall RFC, it's goodbye and congratulations to Newman College. Introducing Next Gen 15, the new home of School Up. Well, where does this come from? Covering everything the school game has to offer in both the North and Southern Hemispheres. Oh, the great tackle! Oh. It's not good enough! One, two, skip a few and with the wheels! Highlighting tomorrow's stars, Next Gen 15 will be bringing you live games and regular updates of all the news and in-depth views on the global game. What's a kick? Where All your school rugby, all in one place. This is Next Gen 50.